Patrick Duffy, renowned for his iconic roles in TV series like Dallas, has navigated the peaks and valleys of fame with resilience and grace. While his professional journey boasts of significant achievements, his personal life has been marked by profound tragedies. From the brutal murder of his parents in 1986 to the loss of his beloved wife in 2017, he's faced heart-wrenching challenges. Yet, through it all, he's demonstrated an admirable strength of character, often turning to his deep-rooted Buddhist faith for solace and understanding. His journey serves as a testament to the human spirit's ability to endure and find hope amidst life's most challenging moments. And he recently found love again after all the hardship he's endured. Join Facts First as we present Patrick Duffy Finds Love Again After the Tragic Loss of His Wife. Tragic Murder The murder of Patrick Duffy's parents is a somber chapter in his life. Patrick, best known for his role as Bobby Ewing on Dallas, faced an unimaginable personal tragedy in 1986 when both parents were brutally murdered. On November 18th of that year, Terrence and Marie Duffy were murdered during an armed robbery at the Montana bar they owned. Two young men, Sean Wentz and Kenneth Miller, entered the establishment with the intent to rob it. In the process, they shot and killed the elderly couple. The crime was particularly shocking given its location in the small town of Boulder, Montana, where violent crimes of this nature were rare. The subsequent investigation led to the eventual arrest of Wentz and Miller. Both were convicted of the murders and sentenced to 75 years in prison without the possibility of parole. The tragedy deeply affected Patrick Duffy, who was very close to his parents. He's spoken in interviews about the profound impact the incident had on him and how he turned to his Buddhist faith to cope with the immense grief and loss. Over the years, Duffy has also expressed a sense of forgiveness towards his parents' killers, attributing his ability to forgive to his spiritual beliefs and understanding of the impermanence of life. Despite the immense pain and heartbreak, Duffy's resilience and ability to find peace in the face of such a devastating event is a testament to his strength and character. His wife's death. Carlin Rosser, the wife of actor Patrick Duffy, passed away in 2017, marking a significant loss in his life. The two shared a deep and enduring bond that spanned more than four decades. Patrick and Carlin first met in the early 70s when Duffy was still trying to establish himself in the entertainment industry. Their meeting was serendipitous. Rosser, a professional ballerina, was part of a dance company touring the U.S., and Duffy was tasked with driving the dancers to their hotel after a performance. The connection between them was instant, and they soon began a relationship. Despite the age difference of about 10 years, with Rosser being older, the two found a deep connection and understanding. They married in 1974 and had two sons together, Pedraic and Connor. Throughout their marriage, Duffy often spoke about the profound influence Rosser had on his life, both personally and professionally. She introduced him to Buddhism, a faith that became central to Duffy's life and helped him navigate the ups and downs of his career and personal challenges. Carlin Rosser's death in 2017 was a significant blow to Duffy. He has spoken about the depth of their bond and how her passing affected him. In interviews, he's reflected on the importance of cherishing moments with loved ones and the impermanence of life. Despite the pain of losing his longtime partner, Duffy's memories of their time together and the life they built serve as a source of strength and inspiration. Patrick's Early Life Patrick Duffy, born March 17, 1949 in Townsend, Montana, grew up in a close-knit environment. His parents owned local taverns, and Patrick was raised in an atmosphere steeped in community and hard work. This small-town upbringing played a pivotal role in shaping Duffy's values and work ethic. His initial aspirations leaned towards professional athletics, particularly swimming. However, an injury redirected his path towards the performing arts. He pursued his newfound passion by attending the University of Washington in Seattle, where he studied drama. This academic foundation laid the groundwork for his future in entertainment. Upon completing his studies, he dabbled in various roles in regional theater productions. His dedication and talent soon caught the attention of television producers. His first significant break came with the sci-fi series Man from Atlantis in the late 70s. He played Mark Harris, the last known survivor of the lost city of Atlantis, who possessed unique underwater abilities. 
While the series was short-lived, it provided Duffy with the platform to showcase his acting chops, and it wasn't long before he landed the role that defined his career. In 78, he was cast as Bobby Ewing in the primetime soap opera Dallas. Patrick's Career Highlights Dallas, which revolved around the wealthy Ewing family and their oil empire, was a massive hit and became a cultural phenomenon. Duffy's character, Bobby, was central to many of the show's storyline, and his quote-unquote death and subsequent return in the infamous shower scene is one of television's most memorable moments. He reprised his role in the 2012 reboot of the series. After Dallas, Duffy transitioned to comedy, co-starring with Suzanne Somers in Step by Step, a family sitcom. The show, which was about two single parents with children from previous marriages coming together, was well-received and showcased Duffy's comedic timing. Buffy joined the cast of The Bold and the Beautiful, a long-running soap opera, playing Stephen Logan. His role added depth to the show's intricate storylines and showcased his versatility as an actor. Directorial Pursuits Apart from acting, Duffy has also ventured behind the camera. He directed several episodes of Dallas during its original run and has since directed episodes of other TV series. And his talents aren't limited to the small screen. He's also taken to the stage in various productions, showcasing his range as a performer. Throughout his career, Patrick has demonstrated an ability to adapt to a wide range of roles and genres, making him one of the most enduring and versatile actors of his generation. Whether playing a wealthy oil magnet, an Atlantean, or a loving stepfather, Duffy's commitment to his craft and ability to connect with audiences have solidified his place in television history. Patrick's New Love after all the tragedies in his life, Patrick is proud to report that he has found new love. During the 2020 COVID pandemic, he struck up a relationship with actress Linda Pearl. Pearl, who's best known for her role in Happy Days, has brought a new sense of purpose and love into Patrick's life. Duffy recently shared photos of the pair online on social media, showing off their travels to Budapest together. The couple are shown smiling and enjoying each other's company. Clearly, Patrick is finding ways to thrive once again, despite the horrible tragedies that have surrounded him. Linda Pearl Linda Pearl is a versatile actress whose career has spanned several decades. She's perhaps best remembered for her role as Ashley Pfister, Fonzie's girlfriend, in the classic sitcom Happy Days. Though she was only a regular for one season, her character left a lasting impression. She also played Charlene Matlock, the daughter of Ben Matlock, on the show Matlock during the first season. She returned in the fourth season in a different role as attorney Michelle Thomas. And on The Office, she played Helene Beasley, the mother of Pam Beasley. Her character was briefly involved with Michael Scott, adding a comedic twist to the series. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite role of Patrick Duffy's? Let us know in the comments section below.